Welcome back Savages to another video. In this video we're going to be unboxing the B-Link GK series mini PC. So the premise behind getting this PC was I wanted something small and energy efficient to be able to use on any future crypto projects. So I've opted for this particular one. So in this video we're going to be unboxing it, um, finding out what the spec is of this particular one I've got and then we're going to put it under a power monitor to just see how much energy it actually uses. So without further ado let's get into it. So the spec on this particular one, uh, it's got a Intel Gemini Lake CPU, which is a J4125 processor. It's got 8 gig of memory and it's got 256 gigabytes of storage. It's got Ethernet and wireless. And according to the adapter, it says it should use an output of 2 amps at 24 watts. So let's go ahead and unbox it. So you get a user manual in different languages. So that's the unit itself. Got some cutouts there on the sides for ventilation. On the front you've got two USB 3s by the looks of it and a headphone socket. That's the on off button there. Some vents on the other side and then on the rear you've got two more USB 3 slots, Ethernet connection and it looks like you've got two HDMI ports as well. That right there will be for the power adapter. And that's about it. Quite lightweight. Looks like it's got a decent build. Let's see what else we get with this. So we get an accessory box as well. So in here you've got the um, HDMI cable. A secondary HDMI cable as well. I think that one's a longer length one, that one there. That's a shorter one. So you've got the mains adapter as well, that one there. Looks like you get a few screws and mounting screws. And it looks like there's some kind of a plate that comes with it as well. So let's get it all connected up and let's see how much power it uses. So here we are, I've got the B-Link mini PC, I've got a keyboard connected to the front, I've got a mouse connected to the rear, there's HDMI connected to one of these portable monitors and I've got another USB connected to the portable monitor to power it as well. So this is just in standby, nothing's actually switched on at the moment and it's consuming 0 0.7 watts of power. This is just switched off. So I'm going to switch it on. And you get an LED light, just pops up on the unit there. Get a B-Link logo coming up on the monitor. Just going to move this along so you can see the monitor. It's gone up to 12 watts, 13 watts of power. But bear in mind that's got a keyboard, mouse and monitor connected at this point. So they'll be using power as well. So it's just finished its window setup and it's just restarted the PC. So there we go, it's taken about 10 minutes to go through all the windows setup and configuration. So let's just have a quick look at the spec. Um, if you've got the Windows configuration, we've got Windows 10 Pro, which is brilliant, version 2.0 H2. And it's also got the Windows Feature Experience Pack 120 on there as well. 
let's just go through the spec on device manager audio devices it's got bluetooth as well which is a bit of a surprise but nice one disk drives 256 adapters that's the processor audio drivers storage controllers and this is just going to be the various system devices. And lastly, USB controllers. So I've had a little play around with the operating system and it's pretty nippy. There's no lag or anything, so that's quite good. So as you can see, once it's in Windows, it's only using about nine watts of power, which is absolutely amazing. In terms of amps, that's 0 0.07 amps. So bear in mind, this is 9.3 watts with the keyboard, mouse and monitor connected. So what most people might do is just set this up with whatever project that's running on it or operating system and then just basically disconnect everything and just log in remotely if you ever need to. So what I'm going to do is disconnect each device from here just so you can get an idea of just how much wattage it will really use once you've got these bits disconnected and it's just set up and running in a corner. So first off, let's disconnect the keyboard. That's gone down, well it did do. Yep, that's gone down to 8.8 .8 watts. So let's take out the mouse. So that's dropped again. Now we've got 8.4 watts. So last thing we're going to take off is the monitor. So take out the HDMI and the USB for it. And just look at that. 3.5 watts. It's running Windows 10 Pro and it's only using 3.6 watts. Absolutely amazing. So even if you just want a PC for general Windows use or going on the internet, you can't really go wrong with this B-Link mini PC, 3.5 watts. So overall, I would say it's an amazing piece of kit. The only one downside I would say about this unit is it's quite noisy. Now, I was hoping it'd be pretty silent, but it looks like there's some kind of fans or something in there. But So you can definitely hear a lot of the fan noise from about a metre and a half away. So that's probably the only downside. But if you're going to put it in a corner somewhere out the way, then you can't really go wrong with that. So anyway, I hope you like this video and I hope it helps somebody out there who's looking to get something like this just for either some kind of a crypto project or just for basic internet usage or something like that. But um, please subscribe, like, and I'll see you savages on the next one.